So an unbelievable story has come out of Los Angeles. A story, if I had said this years ago that this is what's going to happen, many people would have said, no way. It'll never get that bad. It'll never shake out that way. You're just an angry, bitter, jaded uh, clipper guy. Well, turns out, not to mince words, uh, it's gone about as bad as it can get. Now, this involves one of the faces of pro basketball who has been dumped by the purple and gold, and he unloaded on the purple and gold. Now, if you didn't see this, and and maybe not, I understand there's a lot of football stuff going on, but Hall of Fame guard Jerry West, Jerry West did not pull any punches, none of them demolishing the once-proud Laker franchise for revoke a lifetime agreement That was given to him by the late Dr. Buss. And he had promised years before he passed away, Dr. Buss, he said, for the rest of your life, Jerry, I'm going to give you season tickets. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do you solid. But that's how much you meant to me. And that's how valuable you are to this franchise. I'm going to take care of you no matter what. You're good. And Jerry West, well, he said, quote, it was a cold phone text to my wife. West groaned, quote continues. Uh, Jerry went on to say, no one had the nerve to call me. That's how petty they are, okay? Uh, Jerry West, the player, coach, executive, saying the Lakers treating him like a piece of trash. That's the Lakers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so let us discuss the question, who looks worse here? Jerry West for bringing the issue up publicly, granted behind a paywall on the athletic, or the Lakers? Well, this is obvious. Another embarrassing chapter. There have been many of them over the last 10 years for the once-proud Laker franchise, but how embarrassing is this? You really have to question your fandom if you like that team, if you're a historian of that team. And so we tip off with the fact The Lakers, let's be honest here, they've become a clown show in recent years. They're like the, who would I compare them to? You know, people rip the Knicks on the East Coast and say the Knicks are a joke. Well, the Lakers are just like the Knicks. They're just like the Knicks in recent years. After Dr. Buss, you know, had owned the team and had all that success, before he passed away, uh, you know, everything was was, was okay. The Lakers had a couple of down years. Jerry was in poor health at the end. But ever since he passed, the, the Lakers have become uh, a staple. They've become a staple in the draft lottery. And Jeannie Buss was so – she couldn't do anything right. She was a terrible owner. Everyone agrees on that. Uh, she built a team that was just good at getting lottery picks. And they were doing the backstroke in the cesspool of basketball. And so desperate to get out of the sewer, she made a Faustian bargain. Right? She made a Faustian bargain with LeBron James, willing to sacrifice the morals of the franchise the reputation of the franchise in exchange for what turned out to be a bogus bubble championship. Many of the old guard with the Lakers are rolling their eyes, looking at what's happened, what's become of the Laker franchise here. And they decided, you know what? We're going to take LeBron. And when LeBron comes in, LeBron oversees everything. That's how he operates. He's got enough power. Good for him. But his fingerprints, LeBron's fingerprints are also all over this. And we have a feeling that it's more probable than not that someone LeBron approved of is the coward in the room who took back the franchise's commitment from really the patriarch of the L.A. Lakers, Dr. Buss, to Jerry West. And by the sound of things, they didn't even have the balls to call up Jerry West because they knew what they were doing was wrong. And they shouldn't be doing it. And they did it anyway. And they passed it off on Jerry West's wife. How pathetic. How pathetic a franchise is this. And they they hid behind the, the digital technology. Jerry West, you think he's using text message and all that all that stuff? Listen, that's not how he rolls. He's from the old school. He's from the old country, uh, Jerry West. He grew up with a quill pen in West Virginia. That's how he grew up. Now, furthermore. Is it true that this is another, another dark chapter, the second one in the span of less than five years 
For, again, the once proud Laker franchise, absolutely. It is fair to say they are flying through some dark clouds right now. It's a poverty franchise at this moment. They traded a bunch of players to get Russell Westbrook. He sucks. Teams below 500. They've got infighting. They wanted to fire the coach, but they were afraid to do that. This is another travesty, though. Forget the on-court stuff. Never forget. And the media, because they're toadies for the Lakers, try to cover this up. But the Lakers, early on in the pandemic, the uh, corona pandemic there, which became the COVID pandemic, but 4.6 million, the Lakers took from coronavirus relief, uh, a government coronavirus relief program, and they were forced to return that government money, that money that was designed for mom and shop businesses, only after being exposed, the Lakers, by a watchdog group. Otherwise, they would have kept almost $5 million. That's the Lakers. You know, Jerry West, and this is the thing, and this is why so many people are upset Jerry West is working for the good team in L.A., the Clippers, because Jerry West had his blood, sweat, and tears in every legitimate title the Laker franchise won in Los Angeles. And without his Midas touch, the Lakers are essentially the Dallas Mavericks. This guy, I don't even go through his whole resume, all the all-NBA teams, all the all-star teams. The guy won an NBA Finals uh, MVP that the Lakers lost. And he was the MVP of the Finals, for God's sakes. He was the mastermind behind the Showtime Lakers of the 80s with Magic, Kareem, and Worthy. He helped shape the Shaq, Kobe era of the Lakers from the late 90s to the early 2000s, actually all the way through the first decade of the 2000s. He was then dispatched to Memphis in another dark moment for the Lakers because they, they chose uh, Phil Jackson, who was stooping, Jeannie Buss, and they uh, sided with the Zen Master over, the, over Zeke from Cabin Creek. And only the 2020 bogus Mickey Mouse bubble championship played at a resort in Orlando after three or four months off. Nobody takes it seriously. That's the only one the Laker franchise has won where Jerry West had nothing to do with it. That's it. Listen, Jerry's 83 years old. He is in the final chapter of his life. Now, I hope Jerry lives a long time, but when you're 83, I believe this to be true, and maybe I'm wrong, but when you get past 80, it's bonus time, right? Past 80, bonus time, right? You hope you make it to 80, but anything past 80 is extra gravy. And the Lakers are also messing with Buddha, and you don't want to mess with Buddha. You don't. You don't want to do it, right? Now, uh, I'm talking about karma, right? Buddhism, karma. Uh, you know, they say you know, karma, good deed, uh, will be rewarded with good results. A bad deed, like taking back a deal, with the logo of the NBA, will also be punished with bad results. And watch out for the falling piano that's going to come down on top of you. All right, now the last thing. So the devil's advocate argument, the other side of the aisle, is saying that, listen, the Lakers, why would they give Jerry West tickets? He's an enemy combatant. He's the brains now of the Clippers. And, and they run L.A. now, and the, the Lakers, are, they don't need to take care of Jerry West. Why should the Lakers be friendly with Jerry West? So let me address that, right? Let me address the Komodo dragon in the room. This is a way of you, if you're on that side of the aisle, it's a way of you telling me that you're a dumb fanboy without telling me you're a dumb fanboy. Because, spoiler alert, you do it because as a franchise, just like as a human being, you're only as good as your word. Now, you've heard that before. You have friends. If, if they tell you one thing and do another thing, they're not your friends anymore. A person or a team, a business is only as good as their word. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. And Jerry Buss gave out a lifetime agreement to Jerry West. He was so thankful for all the great things, all the wonderful mitzvahs that Jerry West was involved in with the Lakers. And, and he said, you know what, before... Before I reach the heavenly kingdom, I would like to take care of you. And so he did, right? And, you know, this Jerry West is 83. He's still going pretty good there. And uh, in addition, though, the other thing about this, as far as the whole Clipper-Laker thing and all that, uh, the NBA is a uh, cartel. All right? let, me, let me explain to you. Like I'm going to explain this to you like you're in kindergarten. I'm going to break the fourth wall. You're never supposed to break the fourth wall, but I'm going to do it. So it's like the Golden Arches. Think of it like McDonald's. Now, McDonald's has a lot of franchisees that are around, and they're all fighting 
to get you to buy Big Macs and chicken nuggets and fries and the apple pie and all that. I can get a little hungry. Uh, but but they're, they're all sharing a little bit of the revenue for advertising, and they're you know pretty much playing on the same team, but they, they are competing. Sometimes you see a McDonald's right next to each other, or you can do the same thing with Starbucks. But you, you're pulling in the same direction. The NBA, think of it like Starbucks or McDonald's. You have 32 franchisees. And while, sure, they all battle for, a, as Rob Manfred said in baseball, a hunk of metal, a piece of metal, they're under the same umbrella. So this is also another piece of evidence that shows you the Clippers are dominating. They are living rent-free in the heads of the purple and gold, and they're so upset, so bothered by the great Jerry West lending his wisdom, his lifetime of knowledge, 83 years of knowledge, to the Clippers that they have decided to cut him off, right? That they've spoiled the great relationship with a guy whose jerseys retired at their home games, right? And, and all that, the bleeping logo of the NBA, and they've walked back on a deal because of all of these other factors, which it's, it's ridiculous. It's embarrassing. 